we have already given a proof for Liouville's theorem. We used a proof that was uh, discovered by Landau. It is written in one of Landau's books, and that proof was extremely elegant. It made use of uh, Jacobians. In this case, we will take a slightly different approach. We will look at a small square in phase space, and you see that I have drawn here phase space, and I have a coordinate for position, Q, and one coordinate for momentum, P. We will consider just a monodimensional system, and we will consider this small square, and we will track how its edges are moving to prove that its volume is not changing. So we have to prove that dQ dp, when we change coordinates, will transform as dQ prime dp prime. The points here represent a gas, for example, of many systems in the two-dimensional QP phase space. We want to discover what is the incremental change in area of this initially square piece of phase space in time dt. Let's begin with the top edge of this square, this one here. The particles are all moving with velocities q dot, p dot, but of course the only change in area of this upper edge comes from the p dot term because it's uh, changing in this way. This is like the outward movement of the boundary. So the change in the area in dt from the movement of this boundary will be something like p dot dq dt. Meanwhile, there will also be a similar contribution from the bottom edge from here. The expression is very similar, but the overall net contribution is the difference between the contribution that we have here and the contribution that we have here. So, since the two edges differ by a distance that's dp, the overall contribution in the change of the area is dp dot dp dp dq dt. Now, we can do exactly the same reasoning for these two edges here, this one and this one. These two edges will change in dq, they will not change in dp. The area will not change in the direction of p, but it will change in the direction of q. So the overall contribution here is dp dot dp plus dq dot dq times dp dq dt. This is the change in the area in the small element dp dq. We want to show that this element, if we move its edges, will not change area. So we want to prove basically that this change is equal to zero. We want to prove this, because if this is the case, it means that areas do not change. And therefore, we can say that if we go from one frame to another frame, dq dp will be equal to dq prime dp prime. In order to show that, let's consider Hamilton equations. From Hamilton equations, we know that p dot is equal to minus the derivative of the Hamiltonian with respect to q, whereas q dot is equal to derivative of the Hamiltonian with respect to p, momentum. But now if we insert these equations there, we get minus d squared h dp dq plus d squared h dq dp times dp dq dt. But now you can see trivially that if we have some regularity in these uh, second order derivatives, of course they are equal and opposite in sign, so we will get zero. So we have established that the total incremental area does not change. The square does not distort. It does not get distorted. The conclusion is that the flow of this gas, quote unquote gas, of systems in phase space behaves like an incompressible fluid.